Hello dear students, how are you? In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of week 3 and the lessons that we are going to cover in that week. We are going to cover lessons 1.4 and 1.5. So happy new week, I hope you have a great week ahead. We will start with lesson 1.4, understand division with fractions. The description of this lesson, you are going to use area models and number lines to under, understand how to divide fractions. Then you will compare them. So this is our first lesson of week three. We are going to learn how to divide fractions using models. Then we are going to compare them using area models and number lines. The objectives of our lesson, we, are, we will be able, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use models to divide with fractions. You will use equations to divide with fractions. And you will show and explain how to use models and equations to represent fraction division. Here is a key concept and a summary of this skill to divide a, a whole number by a fraction. You are going to write the whole number as a fraction by putting a 1 as a denominator. You will change the division sign to the multiplication sign. Then you will write the reciprocal of the fraction. What do I mean by the reciprocal of the fraction? It means that you are going to flip it. You will put the denominator on the top and the numerator in the bottom. Then multiply the top numbers and the bottom numbers. Then simplify if needed. The second lesson of this week is going to be lesson 1.5, divide fraction by fraction. You will divide fractions by fractions, then you will learn how to use different area models to represent fractions. Our objective of this lesson, you will be able, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use models to divide fractions by fractions, use an algorithm to divide fractions by fractions, and you'll explain how to, uh, to show and show how to divide a fraction by another fraction. Here is a summary of this skill. When you are dividing two fractions, remember to keep the first fraction the same. Do not touch it. Just keep it the same. Change the division to multiplication and uh, flip the second fraction. What do I mean by flipping it? Finding the reciprocal. And what do I mean by the reciprocal? When the number is upside down, then the top number is going to be in the bottom and the bottom will be the top. Then multiply normally, multiply the top numbers, multiply the bottom numbers, then simplify if needed. So dividing fractions is very easy. Just remember K, F, C. We all love K, F, C. K is for keeping the first fraction the same. F is for flipping the second fraction. And C is for changing division sign to multiplication sign. And that's all. Thank you. See you in the next video. So that's all for our week. Have a lovely week. See you.